All right, all right, all right. Hey, YouTube, I'm Lucky, and in today's video, we're going to be watching and reviewing cheating inside the world's first raid race for King's Fall. You can see here behind me, someone is doing damage to Oryx, and there's a lot of numbers going off. Uh, and the reason why there's a lot of numbers going off is because this person is utilizing a technique or a technology. I don't know if it's software or hardware. I don't know much about it, but it's called net limiting. I've heard of this thing, and you've probably heard of this thing as well. People use this very frequently to cheese a variety of different encounters inside Destiny 2. And I believe it even started in Destiny 1. Um, it's called net limiting. And you can see there that they're able to do so much damage to Oryx that they literally push him to final stand in like one phase. And the problem with this is that Bungie's technology, I don't think they can actually detect this or stop this. It would be really nice if they would work towards stopping this because this is a big problem. This definitely taints the world's first races. It's definitely sad to see that people are out there doing this and they're doing it so blatantly that they're willing to live stream their gameplay and allow it to be broadcasted to the entire world where everyone is able to watch them do this and see them quite literally cheating inside the game. It is against Bungie's terms of service. You're not allowed to use network manipulation people might try to call it cheesing or something like that it's not cheesing it is in fact cheating network manipulation is cheating and that's what this is and so i wanted to bring you another clip of this because this last world's first raid race with king's fall has been extremely tainted there's actually a bunch of different teams that are known for net limiting and they finished high up on the placements the team that got world's first though this is no not throwing any shade at them the team that got world's first they are legit those guys are awesome they are super, super good at the game. I'm not accusing them of anything. Uh, all the credit to them. But there are a lot of other teams out there doing a lot of other cheesy things. And I don't think that they are getting the attention that Bungie should be shown on them. I don't think that the bans are being applied that should be applied to them. And I don't think that Bungie is really addressing this issue of net limiting as much as they should. Because it's actually becoming a big issue. And you're seeing more and more people do this in these world's first raid races and just keep in mind that uh, when you do cheats like net limiting and like we saw the other person with like infinite golden guns people don't see it as much in pve because it's not player versus player when it's player versus player people are recording their point of view they record the clips of someone shooting you know infinite colony at them but in pve you don't get oryx getting angry and heading on to reddit saying you know this guy uh cheesed me or, or cheated against me and used a net limiter right so you don't see as many recordings or as many clips but it's definitely out there it's definitely happening and bungie should probably like work towards stopping net limiting in some fashion because this is definitely sad to see it's sad to see that the world's first raid race for king's fall was tainted so badly let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below and make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed smash the like button i'll see you in the next one later